Hi guys, as you know that uh, recently I've attended one of the Samsung TV launch and two of the TV that attracted my attention is the Cero and also the frame. And I managed to get one of the review unit of the frame here to test it out the performance. So today I'm going to share with you what we can do with the frame besides watching TV. So without further ado, let's go. Alright, let's talk about the exterior first. This is a 55 inch TV frame and um, the frame is actually designed on a minimalist concept where they do not have much things, they just have the frame and also the TV. So uh, it is ultra slim in terms of on the side here, it's very slim and they have the infinity screen where you cannot see the black edges on all the four corners. So um, the black edges actually are shrunk to almost nothing in this frame and it is an ultra slim frame so that you can put it on to the wall as a frame and uh, it removes any distractions so you can actually have a more immersive viewing experience with this TV. This TV actually comes with a no gap wall mount for you to actually put it onto your wall and it will have no gap, it means that you, you can see it as it is it like a frame by itself, you wouldn't realize it is a TV and um, if you can see here on the edge of the frame, basically um, this color of the frame matches my rack so uh, it is on a wooden frame beige color but if you do not like this beige color or your house have a different concept they actually have four colors for you to select one is this beige, you have white, you have black and they also have another one called brown color so you have four colors to select from but if you do not wish to have the frame if I remove it, this is the black color frame and actually I like the original one because it also actually fits into my surround hi-fi color so this is how um, the whole exterior looks like so how about um, the connections box let me put this back in so it's just like this so um, they comes with this uh, connection box with 5 meter cables um, this is used for the cable management where this one if you put it on a frame you would have just one invisible cable that links down to the bottom of this cable box where you can save a lot of hassle on your cables management so uh, even this cable management right they have four HDMI uh, ports for you to port other stuff as well and there's also one 2.1 HDMI where you can connect your Xbox Playstations onto it alright now let's talk about the processor um, this TV actually equips with the quantum processor 8K where it optimizes the 4K video resolutions it means that, um, for example, if you have a 4K video, you can have the much more enhanced resolutions uh, 4K video on this TV. Besides that, if you have the 1080p also, they will help you to increase the resolutions to the optimum level. This TV is running on 3840 times 2160 resolution. It has the 4 gig memory in this TV. And how about the sound of this TV? This TV actually runs on the Q-Symphony technology where um, it actually helps you to have a better sound system for your movie experience. The sound will be crispy and clear. It comes from three way where from the top, bottom and also from the side. Besides that, they have the Adaptive Sound Plus where you can actually adjust your equalizer settings by your own self. They also have the adaptive volume where uh, it will help you to automatically increase or reduce the volume based on day or night scene. Besides that, there's one of the very impressive functions called Active Voice Amplifier where normally it will be available on the high-end models but the frame, they do also have it. What is this Active Voice Amplifier? Is The Active Voice Amplifier is a function where you will automatically detect the sound in your surrounding. For example, if someone is vacuuming um, the carpets, 
then you have a very loud noise, right? You will actually automatically increase the volume by themselves. Maybe you can check out this video and see how it works. Did you go to his room after you went to see Mrs. Herbert? Once, yesterday. It was a short visit. What for? To confirm it myself. What did you have to confirm? I had a feeling I shouldn't go. So, were you right about your feeling? I haven't seen you since. To love someone, you have to love yourself first. As you might know, I didn't love myself. You keep lying. Personal feelings don't confirm your alibi. As you might know, I didn't love myself then. You keep lying. Personal feelings don't confirm your alibi. Mrs. Herbert went missing on December 3rd, as did Jacob. And you claim you were working until midnight. If I was the convict, I wouldn't say anything to predict myself. Into the functionality of this um, TV. This smart TV actually is powered by Tizen and how it actually um, looks like is like this. And it is equipped with uh, actually YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, HTV Go, Smart Things, Gallery and Internet. Besides that, you can actually download uh, other additional apps from the apps system where you have from their all this area you can look for all the apps that you want and download it down to view it and uh, okay let's go to exit now I have a Xiaomi TV box this place is also able to actually connect to the Xiaomi TV box where I connected my HDMI cable to the uh, cable box and it will automatically connect from here so let me show you some of the things you can even use the smart TV remote to control your TV box. You can see from here, this is all the movies. I can use the same one besides using the Xiaomi's remote. So um, besides this uh, type of connections where you can go into your Spotify, because I've downloaded the Spotify, so I can um, use this as a music player to play my music. All right, so besides that, I can also view some movies or any videos from the YouTube. So all this can be done through this smart TV. So um, if you have a Samsung account, remember to log in to this TV because it will help you to sync all your TV and all your devices or apps that's applicable one into this TV settings. So they do have a mirroring uh, system where you can mirror your, your mobiles to your TV and also the Samsung DeX where you can duplicate your Samsung devices onto this TV or if you are using Apple any devices like um, iPhone and also um, their iPad you can actually connect it to this TV as well if you can see from the bottom here there's a smart things smart things actually enables you to connect your mobile phone or maybe your tablets to become a keyboard or a mouse at the same time you can also actually um, add all the smart things devices onto this platform for you to control it like for example if there are any um, lights downstairs and you would like to on or off you can actually um, remote it from these smart things so that's how um, easy it is to connect all your things into this uh, smart TV. Besides that, I would like to share with you one of the highly promoted um, functions that Samsung is very proud of. It's called the art picture. So from the bottom here, this is the home button. You can go into the art on the left hand side. So this is actually their art store. This art store actually enables you to buy some of the uh, art museum pieces to put it onto your TV and use it as a picture on your wall. They do have some free scenes that you can actually select from. So you see, they'll put the picture onto this 
and makes it look as if it is a picture frame. So sometimes you wonder, oh, how about the brightness? This TV is really smart enough because they have the AI uh, technology in it. You can adjust the light of the picture according to your ambience. If your ambience is too bright, then you will adjust accordingly to the ambience. So it makes it look like a really real picture on the frame. So um, this is one of the um, very interesting function. You can go into my collections. My collections is where you can take some of your nice family photos or any photos that you like and place it onto this collection album and select it to be used as your art picture. So let's um, go back to home. So besides um, this art, they have the ambient mode here. This ambient mode actually enables you to select some of the pictures that looks like ambient. See, they even have sound. So uh, you can select a clock, let's say, and put a clock onto the uh, frame. So this is how it is look. You can do your style setting on your frame size, the color, your backdrop. See, this all the colors that you would like to put. What type of ambience that you would like. So let's select others. So this is really nice. I like this. You can see this picture really looks 3D. And it is here. I'm not sure whether can it actually uh, see it properly on the screen but for me here it really looks 3d crispy and clear and you listen oh yeah there's one more thing um this tv has a motion detector so even though if you off the tv and they detect any motion in front of this then it will automatically uh, on so uh, if you have some pets in your house it is better for you to adjust the motion detector itself so um, that is a uh, function that they have in this uh, TV frame so um, many of you will be worried if I off the televisions but they still do have the motion detector or there's still things running at the background of this TV will this TV actually consume a lot of power so uh, after I made a checking with Samsung I learned that um, this TV only consume about 40% of electricity compared to the normal TV in the market because normally you also lower down the brightness and reduce the power into a very minimal uh, usage lead. So um, during the sleep mode, it actually consumes about 0.5 watts or maximum 1 watt for the whole night. So um, they have calculated um, the power consumption of this TV. If you actually use it for 4 hours in a day and in within 1 year, 365 days, it only consumes about 200 watts of power. So this is really a power saving TV even though uh, you are using it for such a long period of time and you didn't off it and the cable box are still uh, running. So I think all the TVs now are really improving in terms of their power consumption and increase in terms of their functionality and also performance. So um, after two weeks of um, trying this TV out, I really have fallen in love with this uh, TV. It really has a lot of functions that I would love to use whenever I'm in at home or even at work. While I'm not using it, it could also act as a picture frame in my living room, making my living room more artistic. You know, sometimes I'm not so artistic, but if you have some artistic, beautiful pictures that you can change all the times and it's a really high quality um, pictures, why not? Right? So I think um, that's all folks for my sharing today. I hope you like my review on the Samsung The Frame TV. 
So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>